What is going on my broskies, my name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we have the Luffy and the Straw Hat characters, the brand new Super Sugo Fest exclusive characters arriving here on Global and man these characters are freaking amazing. So I already made that video uh, when I pulled the unit talking about what they're actually able to do in the fact that you know any type of class or attack boosting buff or color boosting buff, whatever it is, it actually works for all characters. And that's a very valuable effect when we take a look at what we're trying to do today. So in this video, we are looking at both of the current Garb challenges versus Heavenly Demon and versus the Navy. And we're taking a team that has entirely dual units of both strength and dex characters. Every character on this team is either a strength or a dex dual unit, which means that we can actually clear two challenges with one clear of the quest. Very valuable thing to do. We actually have another video coming out with Roger and Newgate being both both sign int dual units with a full sign int team taking on navy and heavenly demon hopefully you guys go ahead and check that video out as well when it does get released but uh this one was actually a lot of fun to do so in this particular team we actually have one unit that is going to be changed when we look at the next one versus navy and that character is going to be luchi and kaku for this team now we actually have the support of coliseum opera that can attach to him and what that allows us to do is that whenever we use a damage dealing special we're able to remove two turns of destruction spare because that's the thing the dual units you get access to that are for strength and dex this is basically all you have there's like this and then one other unit which we actually use in the team versus navy and none of these characters have an innate ability to remove despair so we have Rayleigh support and we had the sweet commander support both on the luffy and the straw hats and then big mom and kaido and then of course we are able to stall a little bit actually due to the moby dick giving us a pretty substantial amount of hp so we can tank two hits from bato when the barrier is removed we can use the Luchikaku special and that will allow us to get the uh, the rid of the, the actual despair that gets inflicted to our team here. One thing to note is that we actually use the special ability of Luchi and Kaku which says that if your captain is fighter, powerhouse or a slasher I want to say, it actually gives your powerhouse fighter and slashers a two times attack boost but because we actually are despaired that class boosting effect will actually still work for the classes. It's not a rainbow buff as you can see there because we are despaired. Our captain effects are not active so unfortunately that is something you do have to keep in mind that if you are despaired those types of buffs will not activate for your entire team despite that though in this situation we're able to kill Bato without too many issues and then their super swap actually comes into play a lot here for the heavenly demon because we can use their super swap to just remove the paralysis that gets inflicted here versus treble unfortunately we couldn't do it in the earlier stage versus Rebecca due to the fact that it's you know it's like stage three we really can't do much about that at all so we do have to tank the paralysis on the Rebecca stage but later on during the quest when we actually get access to supercharging this super swap we can just use it to get around the paralysis and of course we can use both the special abilities of straw hats we can use one on this stage versus treble one on the last stage versus doflamingo and just absolutely destroy those stages without too many hiccups along the way there the dual unit of vivi rebecca definitely help out a lot here great special ability and great swap effect actually i don't even think i used their special ability throughout the entire duration of the quest i think maybe on the last stage of navy but either way a really fun team that's able to clear you know the the, the, the two challenges of strength team and a dex team for heavenly demon number one so we'll go ahead and leave you guys with this clip and we will be back with the navy challenge
All right, so taking have a look now at the Navy Challenge. This one is slightly different. So in the previous clip, we used Luchi and Kaku dual unit um, instead of the current one that we have here, which is Daz Bones and Crocodile, Mr. Zero. Now, this is a pretty interesting one because this character is pretty rare. I don't think too many people actually have access to this unit. This unit was given out as like a free unit for when Luffy and Ace first came out into the game. I think they actually re-returned them during, a, during some sort of celebration, but... Hopefully, if you guys have the applicable units, you can build this team. This dual unit is very useful for this content because their switch effect will change slots that are not matching. So if we already have matching slots, that's actually really good for our team. But this is the way that we're trying to get around the hunger debuff because none of the characters that you can use with these, uh, you know, with these units, with the strength and dex dual units, have a way to, you know, remove hunger or to generate recovery slots. There's just no way to do it. Uh, there is the Otama support that can attach to Big Mom or Luffy, but you have to use a damage dealing special, so Kaido and Big Mom doesn't work. And then also with Luffy, when you use their special, it is a damage dealing special, but Luffy gives you rainbow slots, so you can't generate recovery slots in any way. It's a, it's a bit of a pain. Unless if there is a support that I'm missing, which is definitely possible. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section about that. But I use the switch effect of Crocodile to just generate recovery slots. And the thing is, is I had done trials before this where I wasn't able to remove the hunger on turn one. I actually carried hunger all the way to the Fuji Tora stage. Like you can actually get through it. You have a lot of time to get those recovery slots. So definitely keep that in mind. But another really good thing about this Crocodile and Mr. One is that their switch effect actually removes one turn of bind, which is perfect. With Rayleigh support, we can get rid of the two turns of despair and two turns of bind. That last turn of bind you can remove with that switch effect of Daz Bones and uh, also Crocodile. And also they, you know, shuffle those badly matching slots that we get given as well. So it's really, really nice actually. And Kaido and Big Mom, very valuable unit on uh, both of these quests here. Their switch effect just generates them a two times attack boost every single turn. And they also give themselves a matching slot, like ridiculously good. And also their special ability is really nice too, just generating an orb boost and you know shuffling slots to either strength or dex and considering the whole team is strength and dex it actually works out perfectly and then of course Dofi and treble have a really powerful special ability to give us a chain lock for one turn and then if we hit a certain amount of perfects we get the chain lock in the next turn but they also do all blocking mechanics and the switch effect also makes strength and dex slots beneficial so technically you can use the big mom special then the switch effect of Dofi treble to just give you a full board of matching slots and you have the orb boost from the uh, big mom and the kaido character another thing that i forgot to mention as well is the special ability of crocodile and mr one actually give a 1.5 times attack boost to i think it's strength index characters but because of luffy of course it ends up being a rainbow 1.5 attack boost which isn't a lot but in the grand scheme of things because you have like such a powerful captain in, in luffy and the straw hats it, it really doesn't matter like a 1.5 times attack boost is is more than enough to get through some of these mini boss stages actually and then another really key thing about the Navy Challenge and why a lot of teams can get through it pretty easily is the fact that when you get to this stage 6 versus Fujitora, once you kill Fujitora, you can stall for like 10 or 9, 10 turns, whatever it is, on these back marine characters, which makes it very easy because if you've used a lot of specials prior to reaching this stage, you can stall them back up for the final boss stage. But uh, one of the key things with this team is that we had um, Perispera support attached to the Big Mom and the Kaido character to remove the first hit of Threshold. And to remove the other hit of Threshold, we use the Bellamy support, which can attach to Dope flamingo when we launch the special of do flamingo it's going to remove two turns of threshold on the enemy so that gives us two ways to get around the damage threshold on the two different variations of when we're going to be uh, having to get around that and uh, also the switch effect of viva rebecca just generating more matching slots and the chain lock as well so we can use the chain lock on multiple different turns which you guys have seen throughout this video so far just extremely valuable effect to have uh, one thing i will admit though is that the swap effect of the straw hats is very underwhelming like as, as good as this unit is man that swap effect is just so bad <laughs> it's just not good i mean I guess in a situation, if you have to deal with slot bind, yeah, having an having effect they can get around their own slot bind is pretty good. Uh, and of course, they get around their own paralysis, but getting around own paralysis is is pretty pretty bland. Like, that, that really sucks. Of course, their super switch kind of helps out a bit. The fact that it will get rid of four turns of paralysis for the whole team. While that is good, I feel like it would have been a lot better if they had maybe a, some type of damage boosting effect. I mean, they already provide that with their special, granting, you know, a... Uh, two times attack, two times all boost, two times color affinity boost. So I guess there really isn't too much they could have added to this unit. Um, it would have been interesting if they decided to give him like a low chain boundary with their switch effect. I think that would have been pretty interesting, you know, just looking back at it. But either way, it was a bunch of fun to use this character and very much looking forward to using this character in the coming weeks, months, and potentially years, because this character is super unique and I love 
a lot of things about this unit. So that is going to conclude this one. Really hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video. Yes.